what was Shawn Michaels like to work with? Because he was going through his uh, mm. personal issues and yeah. he's admitted to now. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt about it. And um, that, that, that's why, like, sometimes I had a love-hate relationship with Shawn. During uh, Shawn Michaels' um, run as champion, uh, you mentioned you just uh, interviewed Vader. I mean, I can remember writing Shawn's promos against Vader. I literally scripted every Shawn Michaels promo when he was the champion because I wrote a lot of Shawn stuff, but, you know, like he will tell you back then, you never really knew what Shawn was going to show up, and there were times where he did show up under the influence of something, and, uh, you know, it, it, it made those times very, very, very difficult. I always had a soft spot for Sean because I will sit here and I will tell you today, and I've said this publicly, and I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, he was the all-around greatest professional wrestler I ever worked with. I mean, all around. I mean, I'm talking about every single tool. Uh, there was nobody, nobody better than Sean. I mean, across the board. And that's why, you know, like, I always had such a... A special place for him in my heart. I always worked closely with him, but there were some difficult times because you just you never knew what guy was going to show up. Were you one of the people that were uh, helping get that degeneration X gimmick going? Helping yeah, definitely, ideas? definitely. Yeah. Whose idea was it uh, for degeneration X to come up with that invasion angle where they actually came to a WCW show? That was me and it. What was your thinking behind that? It, you know, again, bro, it was, we were in a ratings war. We had no idea what was going to happen. We didn't know if, if WCW was going to open the door. We didn't know if Eric Bischoff was going to come. We had no idea what was going to happen. But what we cared about was we were writing must-see TV. You had to tune in to see what was going to happen. And when, when the writers had no idea what was going to happen... Obviously, the people at home had no idea of what was going to happen. That's when wrestling was at its best. And um, th that was the whole idea, man. It, we, we, you know, we, we're going to tape this. We don't know what's going to happen. It's unpredictable. Let's go. You got to understand, too, like those guys... Those guys... Um, they were friends, like, you know, with you know, Scott and... and, and, right. and they were friends. So, like, they, they weren't really that worried about it. They, all the boys on both sides really thought it was funny. I mean, I don't think there were any, any, any of the boys at WCW that were pissed off. Right. They're the boys being the boys. So I thought more than anything, it, it, it entertained them. So they weren't worried that Ming was going to be on the other side of the, uh, the gate if they opened up? No, not at all. Not at all.